There's no such thing as too much fun. Or so a good friend of mine says, Hey, my name is Van der Puchert, and you're listening to Finding Frequency, one man's quest to find the extraordinary in the ordinary one day at a time. And today is one of those days in the time. Went with Marta to a local government institution because we need more papers for our house loan application. And I must say, getting to this institution was a little bit eerie. Um, we still had to wait outside with our masks on. They let very few people in and they were militant about getting your hands cleaned. I think the one, the security guard at the door took his job really serious. And that's kind of like a little bit of a contradiction of all the other things that I'm experiencing right at this stage. And it might be famous last words because that is kind of a little bit of a worry that I have that when I walk around in the environment here, when I say environment um, out and about, Francie's kindergarten, for example, but they've been lax all the time, to be honest. And most everywhere else, even when we, we go to the breakfast market, all these areas, people don't seem to understand like the two meter distance thing or giving each other a little bit more of space. And that worries me a little bit, especially as we go into like summertime where people are going to start going on holiday and traveling And Marta and I are still a couple of days away from our second shot. And that being said, I understand that you get your second shot and then it's only two weeks that you can say, okay, cool, I've now been vaccinated. So a little bit worried about what's happening in my dear country. But that being said, I'm also celebrating today the fact that I got to speak to the procurement division in a Polish company, which means that I'm slowly but surely nudging my way into getting this project finalized, signed off, and ready to go. In fact, the team that I've assembled, we are still already meeting. And it's interesting because we're kind of trying to suss each other out and find each other's kind of um, you know, collaboration points. And and, and it's it's I think one mistake I'm making at the moment is that I'm assuming that the fact that I'm bringing a, a group of friends together, people that I know and that I trust to work on this project with me that we are all of a sudden just a team and that's not entirely true. And, you know, people have said, don't work with your wife, don't work with your friends. I'm breaking those rules because I feel like I needed people that I can trust, but I don't want to destroy friendships either. And I, But the thing is, I also have certain expectations and I think it's just about being clear about that and having communication with people and and being sensitive towards other people. Because in the end of the day, this project that I'm doing is is related to diversity, equity, and inclusion. And uh, we tend to think about sex and gender, uh, sorry, gender and race, what am I saying, as kind of the lines. But it's uh, there's there's intellectual kind of things. There is, um, you know, what I'm trying to say is that there's, diversity goes much deeper and I think we need to be sensitive about each other's needs as well and have empathy because for some people this is a nerve-wracking experience for other people there's a bit more experience I have my own kind of um, insecurities and things that I need to deal with and we need to kind of help each other along Uh, it's not just about hitting those top themes of equity and inclusion I think um, and and by no means am I kind of downplaying the big topics hey I'm not doing that you should kind of know that from the content here but I'm saying that we shouldn't forget about the other things that we need to consider as well Uh, you know our different kind of capacity to handle things I think the big thing that we do wrong within this world is that we have this kind of you know, like there's this average or not even average. It's like a, I'm trying to find a word, but like, you know, there's a standard. Uh, when you do measurement, a meter is a meter everywhere in the world. But you can't use that same standard on humans. We are all different. And I think sometimes what we do is we we uh, apply that standard to everybody. And then when someone doesn't fit that exact mold, we find them to be lacking, but the fact is that they are actually stronger in other areas. And then, you know, you might miss that. I know it's happened to me all the time, you know, where a good friend of mine used to say at Deloitte, don't judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree. 
and I need to make sure that I don't make that mistake as I head into this project. So, yeah, lots to think about, lots to actually do. I feel like I'm uh, procrastinating slightly, and um, I think it's that pre-project kind of get-go thing that needs to kind of kick in. But, uh, yeah, we're slowly getting there. So I'm still excited and very stoked about where this could go. But uh, trust has been thrown my way, and I need to retain that trust and, and move this forward. So uh, that being said, hey, I'm not worried. Are you worried? Oh, okay. I hope that you've got some good things happening in your site. And remember, if there's nothing good happening, make something good happening. Is that actually, am I destroying this, this episode by saying stupid things? But you know what I mean. And uh, I've seen another friend of mine also just leaping into, um, I mean, I'm doing these design tool reviews and she decided, I'm going to buy this tool. I'm going to go and do a workshop and find out more about it. And she was so stoked about doing that and excited about the potential and just geeking out and having fun. Just like I did when I bought my or got my Lego motorcycle for my wife for my birthday. And that is stuff that you need to do for yourself. Go make your extraordinary. Because if you sit around and wait for it, it ain't going to happen. Okay, so uh, that was me preaching and encouraging you to do some cool stuff. So, uh, and I'm not assuming that you're not doing cool stuff, by the way. Of course you are. Thanks for listening.